Hey there, viewers. Finding yourself in a bad mood consistently? Life has its ups and downs. Some days you'll be happy, some days sad. But if you find yourself getting agitated or irritated constantly, you have to do something about it. You'll be surprised to know your hormones have a huge role in how you feel every day. In today's video, we're going to discuss your hormones, how they impact your mood, and what to do about them. From getting sunlight to taking supplements, we're talking all that and more. How do hormones impact your mood? Hormones help keep you in a good mood. These are chemicals produced from various glands in your body. These hormones pass through your bloodstream and act as messengers. There are certain hormones that are particularly helpful with regulating mood. There are some that can even be classified as happy hormones. These promote feelings of positivity. There are four main hormones that help make you happy. Dopamine, for example, is referred to as the feel-good hormone. This hormone is a neurotransmitter linked with sensations of pleasure. Dopamine works as a reward system, lifting your mood. Serotonin is another hormone that has a similar impact to dopamine. It works by stabilizing your mood and making you feel happy. This hormone impacts your entire body and helps with things like sleep and digestion. Oxytocin is referred to as the love hormone. This creates a strong bond between a parent and child. Oxytocin also builds trust and empathy in our relationships. It also increases the amount of physical affection you show, like kissing and cuddling. Endorphins act as a natural pain reliever produced in your body. This hormone is usually produced in response to feelings of stress and discomfort. Endorphins are also made at a higher level after doing activities your body decides you need to be rewarded for. While these hormones can make you feel better, you may not always get them when you want. There are a few things you can do to help, but before we get into it… Do you like sunbathing? How do you protect your skin while doing it? Which is your favorite sunscreen? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 1. Go Outside As simple as it sounds, going outside and spending some time in the sunlight will help you. Research suggests when you get exposure to sunlight, there's a rise in serotonin and endorphins in your body. Just start with a 10-15 to 15 minute walk every day, before increasing the length. If you get tired of walking the same route every day, you can explore nearby neighborhoods. Either way, outdoor time is a great way to get your happy hormones flowing. Number 2. Exercise Regular exercise can help your overall health, but exercise can also help release happy hormones. Those who run on a regular basis would know about the runner's high they experience after doing it every day. Any form of exercise helps increase the level of endorphins in your body. Along with these endorphins, you also get a healthy hit of serotonin and dopamine, improving your overall mood. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number 3. Laughing with Friends Laughter is indeed the best medicine, especially if you want to improve your mood. While it won't help treat physical illness, it's a great resource when it comes to dealing with stress and anxiety. Research has shown that laughing around friends releases endorphins in your body. Think about it, you're bonding with friends while reminiscing over funny experiences. What's more fun than that? Number 4. Cooking a Meal with Loved Ones when you eat something delicious, it releases dopamine along with endorphins. When you share a meal with a loved one, you also increase your oxytocin. Certain foods trigger the release of certain hormones. For instance, spicy food ends up triggering your endorphin production. Foods like yogurt, beans, eggs, and meat help release dopamine. When you eat foods packed with tryptophan, they raise your serotonin levels. Any foods with probiotics can work these hormones. Number 5. Supplements there are countless supplements for your health. Most of them are over-the-counter products. Similar to supplements that improve your overall health, you also have supplements that are good for your mood. Tyrosine, for instance, is for producing dopamine in your body. When you drink tea or consume green tea extract, it helps release dopamine and serotonin. As stated previously, probiotics can help boost serotonin and dopamine, while tryptophan supplements can increase your serotonin levels. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn more about the 7 ways to naturally boost your immunity. Now let's get back to our discussion on ways to boost your hormones. Number 6. Music Listening to your favorite song is also a great way to boost some of your hormones. When you listen to instrumental music, it increases the amount of dopamine in your brain. If you're a person that enjoys music in general, listening to any of your favorites is enough to put you in a good mood. Research also shows that people who create and perform their own music trigger their body's endorphin release. Number 7. Meditation Meditation is one of the more popular methods to help with your mental health. It also comes with benefits related to physical health. By meditating, you can bring down your stress levels and increase the quality of your sleep. 
Various studies have shown that participating in meditation increases your endorphin and dopamine release. You can look for meditation classes or maybe a few tutorials online. Number 8. A Romantic Evening Spending time with your partner is very important for your mental health. Seeing someone you are attracted to is enough to release levels of oxytocin in your body, but when you're physically intimate, your oxytocin shoots up even more. By planning a romantic evening with the person you love, you can give yourself a boost. At the same time, you'll increase the closeness with your partner and help develop a positive relationship. Number 9. Pet Your Dog if you have a dog at your house, showing them affection will help increase your oxytocin levels. This happens not only in your body, but in your pets as well. Various studies have shown that when people cuddle with their dogs, there's a good increase in oxytocin. In fact, you don't even have to own a dog. If you're at a friend's or neighbor's place and you're familiar with the animal, the mere sight of it is usually enough to change your mood. Number 10. A Good Night's Sleep Something as simple as a good night's sleep is usually enough to make sure your hormones aren't imbalanced. This is usually the case when you don't get enough quality sleep on a daily basis. Not getting enough sleep causes an imbalance in your dopamine levels. This means you'll be unhappy and may end up developing health problems. You will need to sleep 7-9 to nine hours every night if you want the right balance in hormones. Use these hacks we just discussed to balance your hormones and better your mood. How would you know if you're undergoing a hormonal imbalance? It looks different for both men and women. Here's what you need to know. Watch 9 Symptoms of Hormonal Imbalance in Women. You can also try our video on 11 Symptoms of Hormonal Imbalance in Men. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn more about your hormones and health. Did you know about any of these mood-boosting tricks before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.